Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I have had way too much, uh, I've eaten way too much sugar, so this video may be a little bit over the top of the energy department, but I don't know, we'll see by the time we get to the end of it. But, regardless of that, our three test subjects on truck night today are going to be this Peterbilt that you guys have seen recently, this Mac that you guys have seen recently, because these two are going to be going up against each other, and I've also brought a bit of a wild card, and that is this uh, Ural, Ural Next, and I've never driven this thing before, and so I'm kind of kind of iffy on how it's going to do, but it does have some really tall tires, and the the only other truck that has tires as tall as this thing is the Peterbilt. The Mac is a little bit small on tires, but that truck is actually a lot more capable than I thought. Now, obviously, we don't really have a place to load this thing up with lumber, so we're taking that on an empty trailer, but I will say this fuel trailer is empty, and this is really just a garage trailer in the form of a container. So we'll see how all of these trucks do, and I'm really excited and, and curious to see which ones are going to make it all the way to the end, which ones are going to not make it, and which ones are going to get stuck and kind of end up, you know, being done for. So... The rules are pretty simple. If the trailer disconnects, the truck is done. And they all get, I'm going to say, three winches apiece. So with that being said, we are actually going to run the wildcard truck first because you guys have never seen this thing run on any map. So we're going to go ahead and run this thing down the course and see what she can do. Now, I will say that right off the bat, it's... I mean, it's... It's not bad. It's not blowing my doors off, but it's not bad. Come on. There you go. It's getting a little hung up in the first mud hole. I'm, got, I'm not going to lie. It's getting a little hung up already. Easy does it. There we go. Going diagonally helped a lot when we ran the Peterbilt here, so I think that's probably the strategy I'm going to have to use for it and definitely the Mac because the Mac is a little bit low. But this thing does have a pretty decent approach angle, uh, obviously depending on how tall the object you're trying to get over is. But I'm going to try and come at this concrete block diagonally, and it seems to just pop right up. Seems like it can pop the front axle right up. Now the rear axles... Are a little bit of a different story, I think. But we'll see if they can kind of step themselves up, too. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like this is going to be another case of the go-around method. Like, simply go around and... Yeah. Go around, ask questions later, most likely. Oh, are you, are you kidding me? Are you stuck? Completely? Completely? Bro, that didn't even... That didn't even remotely take any time. That's like... That's not even... Okay, well, they get three winches, and so I'm going to make the most out of this particular winch attempt. Come on! Okay, she's not doing that. She's not having it. Not at all. Yeah, she is not having one bit of that. Which means... I think I'm gonna just try to s scoot the trailer over here to the side. You know what? No. I'm, I'm using a winch attempt on that trailer, but you know what? It's... It's needed. It's necessary. Like, it's... It's also... It's also worth it. Because if we're gonna if we're gonna even remotely attempt to get this thing anywhere close to the end, uh, that that's the approach we're gonna have to have. Cause now we can make it up the hill. At least in theory, we can make it up the hill. We'll see if this beaches it. We've used two out of three winch attempts. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Dude, don't give up on me now. I'm going to try and go, like, really, really diagonally, like, but that might screw me up. Oh, maybe not. Come on. There it is. Not bad. Okay. All right. I can get behind that if it works. One more. One more step to go. 
One more step to go, and I'm going to try to get it a little bit closer to the edge, and then we should be all good. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, no! Oh, don't tell me it's beaching up here. Well, we have one last winch attempt, so we're going to go ahead and use it. And so now this truck is running with no more winches remaining after we disconnect this one. Let's go! Come on! Don't let me down now! You have no more available winch attempts. We're still running, though. We are still running, and the trailer is still attached. That is one of the most important parts. The trailer is still attached. So I'm going to attack this diagonally. Oh, that really helps us out. That really, 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 really helps us out. Over to the other side, nice and easy. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, water obstacle next. Launch it in. Trailer stayed connected, which is actually kind of not normal. That was about three-quarter throttle in low three, and it, it went. I'm going to do this diagonally as well to see if I can maybe use that to my advantage. Slid the trailer up. We've gone farther than I thought we were going to go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Please tell me we can back up because if we can't back up, we're in big trouble. Luckily, we could back up, though. Those back wheels are not going to go over the edge. I'm not going to let them. Oh, we're hanging up on the bottom of the trailer, but is it going to go? The truck is still mobile. It's not stuck. It's just kind of in a precarious place. We've used all of our available winch attempts, but we can still back the truck up. My question is, are we going to get it so twisted up that we can't go straight anymore? Yeah, it can go back, but it can't go forward. It's pretty done. I mean, it is really, really done here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shut that one down. It did a really good job. I mean, it did a really good job with how far it was able to go. Next up is the Mac. Now, the Mac, I have not played played around with the Mac on this map at all. Just know that that fuel trailer is empty, and we are powered out of the gate. Hoping for a good result. However, I am a little bit concerned because of the fact that this truck is so low. Because we saw how big of a problem that created with the uh, with the Peterbilt. Or with one of them anyway. With the, well, the low one. And we are already starting to see the effects of what having a low truck can do in this sort of scenario. Because while we are making it through this mud section, it is a slow, slow go. All right, I'm going to try and sort of realign myself so I can go diagonally back this uh, this other way. And so far, it's working. It might not be... Ooh, that's not good. But it might not be perfect, but it is working. So we're going to stick with this approach right now and see if it'll actually pan out. Now, all of these trucks, I'm going to, well, we attempted it with the other truck, so we're going to have to attempt it with this one. Well, it won't even get up there. With that brush guard, it won't even get up there. Yeah, wow, it will not even get up there. That's, that's pretty nuts. That's pretty crazy. So we're going to have to go ahead and take the around the side approach. But, once you take that around the side approach, this thing doesn't do too bad. I mean, it actually, I mean, it pulls really well. It's got good grip. It, oh, come on. I think the trailer was pressing it into the ground or the brush guard was digging in. One of the two was happening, and I'm not sure which, but I know it was one of them. It's still going, though. We're still in the, um, uh-oh, oh, see, see, we're bulldozing, we're bulldozing. Come on, boys. 
Yeah, it's not quite there. Oh, man. All right. Whoa, we broke that tree. All right, well, since we didn't move, I'm going to count that as my first use of the winch with this truck. So, so far, we've had to winch it one time. And I'm just going to keep that winch connected until the top of this hill. I'm going to keep that winch connected because I'm not about to waste a winch attempt if I go ahead and disconnect now and have to winch again. However, it's not going to prevent us from having issues going down. Oh, oh God. It's barely even moving us right now because of how much that brush guard is digging into the ground. All right, release. Oh, well, that was a bad idea. So that's winch number two. We only have one more attempt left. They really do go away quick. Real quick. Well, I have to release that one to even remotely go the direction I want to go, but... I, uh-oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 we're in a bad situation, go, 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 drive forward, come on, oh, come on, bro, if we make it out of this, oh, this thing's all right in my book, that's our final attempt at winching, so I don't know how much further we're going to be able to get, but it's still, I mean, it's still made it, Although now we have no more winch attempts left, so we're we just have to go. We just have to go for it because there's no more winch attempts left in this truck. Starting at the corner and heading in diagonally. Come on. Easy does it. This thing is big. It is like, it is definitely a big boy. The problem is, it's also a bit of a low boy in the context of this map's obstacles. Although, that was a really good run through that bit of mud. So now, the water is our next obstacle. And the water is a big one because there's hidden rocks in there. The, the, the other truck, I entered an automatic. So, we still have a trailer. Which is very impressive. We still have a connected trailer. Which most trucks, when they hit like that, the trailer will just, boom, pop off. This one didn't happen. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We are literally almost about to match the other truck. Holy crap. We've matched the other truck. Now, the question is, can we exceed the amount of distance it was able to make? And, uh-oh, I'm not sure because I'm turning the way I want to turn, and it's, like, completely and totally refusing to grab grip. Yo. Yo! Come on! Woo! Come on! Go, Mac! Oh, my God! We are far from out of the woods, but this thing is absolute... Uh-oh. No. No! No, that's as far as it goes! Well, hey, it might not have gotten much further, but it did get a little bit further. Now, we have one more, and that is the Peterbilt. Now, this truck has been here before, but it has not pulled this specific trailer here before. So it should be an interesting mix of, you know, something that I have a little bit of experience with combined with something that I have no experience with. So it should be quite fun in that regard. Going to take the same around the side line. All right, there we go. And we are just rolling right now, rolling in high. I'm just going straight. I mean, it's not like this thing really... Oh, my God. The, my, for a second there, my front axle was the only one on the ground. And it's still pulling me. It didn't care. Holy crap, guys. This thing doesn't give a crap what you do to it. 
We're just rampaging it in high, and the trailer still hasn't come off. That's fairly impressive and surprising. I don't know how to, like... I, I can't think of a way to, like, to literally, like, relay to you guys how much better than the other two that... Oh, no! It threw the trailer. No! And I remember I said if, it, if the truck throws the trailer, it has to stop. But, man, I... In order to keep it fair, I wanted to enter the water the same way with all three trucks. And... The other two, they kept their trailer on, and the, the Peterbilt, it was doing great, and then it just threw its trailer. So, with that being said, our unlikely winner is actually the Mac, which is really, really cool, because I think it was the underdog going into this competition. But, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all new videos and live streams. And I will see y'all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.